Hi there, students. A leading question. Well, I wanted to look at leading question and or leading questions, and then look about look at one or two other types of questions as well. Okay, a leading question is a question that is expressed. It's formed in a way that it suggests what the answer should be. So the reporter said to the politician, um, don't you think the police are failing to stop crime? OK, so it's suggesting that the answer should be yes. Firstly, he says, don't you? Um, and that to me implies I, I'm looking for the answer, yes. And it's also a leading question because it's suggesting that the police are uh, failing to stop crime. Yeah, and probably it also implies that that is the politician's fault. OK, um, so uh, hmm, d don't you think that uh, the government should do more to pre uh, prevent corruption? OK, here we're implying all sorts of things. And th this is the point with a, a leading question. Yeah, it's drawing people to um, think that something is true. It's drawing you to a conclusion. Um, in court, for example, um, the accused was drunk and out of control when he aggressively hit you, right? OK, so th this is implying that he's drunk, he's angry, and this is the reason why he hit you. OK, so this is effectively a leading question. Um, for example, a more neutral question. Was the accused drunk at the time? OK, this is a much more neutral question. But that you probably asked the barman, how many drinks had the accused had? Yeah, although uh, even neutral questions can lead you uh, towards it. Yeah, um, was he drunk at the time? So drunk implies many other things. Um, OK, so this is a leading question, a question that suggests the answer or contains the information which the person asking the question is looking for. Yeah, to phrase it in a way that suggests the answer that um, uh, needs to be given. What do you think of the uh, terrible effects of uh, pollution? OK, so I'm already saying pollution's a terrible thing. I think it's really bad. Are you the same as me or not? Or do you disagree with me? People don't like to disagree. And, and that's the, the point with leading questions. OK, um, this is a legal phrase. They have the phrase to lead a witness, to ask them questions that um, uh, suggest the answer that the lawyer requires. And uh, usually this is illegal. OK, so a leading question, a question put in a way that um, is trying to elicit to get a certain answer. So let's look at this. All, um, all of this to me is uh, under the heading or the umbrella of suggestive questions. Firstly, you have direct questions. Do you like it? Yes or no? Uh, where did it happen? When did you buy it? But even in the first one, the, wor the, ver the word, do you like it? I could have said, do you hate it? Do you dislike it? And the word that people actually use in the question influence the answer. And this is the, the, the point about suggestive, uh, suggestive questions. Um, they've done a lot of research into this where you ask the same questions in 10 different ways and you get different results. OK, so suggestive questions are a very important thing. The answer that you get is influenced by how you ask the question. You could have repeated questions. If you ask the same, per the same person the same question several times, particularly in a row, this <coughs> 
gives the person the idea that um, their first answer was wrong. Um, do you remember this clearly? Wow. Do you remember it clearly? Mm. Do you remember it clearly? Well, yes. Yes, yes, I remember it clearly. Like that, I stop you asking me the question. Okay? Um, but th it, it's giving me the idea that my first um, question was wrong. Yeah? Um, so, should we send this criminal to jail? <laughs> okay, here you're being forced between two choices when maybe the answer or the situation is neither of these. These are called forced choice questions. Yeah, um, interviewers like these forced choice questions. Very often these provide, give a false dilemma. Yeah, you say, um, okay, is the world black or white? Ha, but it doesn't imply that you could say, well, the world is a million different shades of grey. Yeah, because things aren't always black and white, A and B. Yeah, and if you this is the idea of a of forced question. You only have two choices, one or the other, and there's nothing else that you could think about. You can have presumptuous questions. Yeah, um, these are questions that um, include information, um, and they 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 may may well not be balanced. Um, so, I don't know, um, it, this is to assume, this is like your forced choice question. Um, uh, wh what's your opinion on, uh, the death penalty for people convicted of heinous crimes? Okay, heinous crimes, terrible crimes, therefore I'm asking you to, to be severe. Yeah, um, or maybe somebody who is accused of something. Um, are you in favour of strict punishment for people who break the rules? Wait a second, we haven't actually shown that I did this yet. Yeah, you're asking me to talk about um, punishment and how people should be punished. And punishment's not relevant here because I didn't do this. Okay, and that's the, the idea of presumptuous questions. Yeah. Um, okay, actually, going back to um, leading questions for a second, you can also have loaded questions, yeah, which is even stronger than a leading question. This loaded question, when did you stop beating your wife? But I've never beaten her. The question implies you have a wife and that you have beaten her sometime in the past. Yeah? Okay, so it's a question that's made made to make you look bad. Um, well, wh when did your country stop um, executing prisoners? Okay, well, firstly, you're assuming that we did execute prisoners in the past. Maybe the death penalty was... <laughs> was uh, never there or had never been implied. And then finally, we can have confirmatory questions as well. So, I don't know, when are you more outgoing? <laughs> this person then, you're, you're saying that, that you're, you're a very introverted person. Um, uh, how, how, how do you uh, uh, become motivated? I'm probably suggesting you're not motivated. Um, have you ever felt that you're on the, uh, margins of society? Yeah? Um, are you ever spontaneous? Okay, all of these, these are confirmatory questions. They're, um, trying to show that somebody, somebody in a particular light. Okay? Um, and, well, all of the, these questions that... They are influencing the way people answer. Um, and there's even a question with, uh, with this with, uh, with uh, psychologists um, and uh, people who have, who have forgotten or um, about very serious incidents in their past. 
And if the psychiatrist asks enough leading questions, um, the person can end up saying, well, yes, some, this, uh, something terrible happened, even though it didn't, yeah? And this is research by Elizabeth Loftus, okay? Um, although I'm not uh, a, a big fan of, of these ideas, I think, yes, it is possible, but um, I think it's uh, not very common, okay? So, a leading question. You're trying to put words in somebody's mouth to get them to answer in the way that you want. So, enough. If you enjoyed the video, give it a rating, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.